Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. I'm sitting here with Greg Hellman. Uh, I was gonna try to sit on this bench too, but this big ogre takes up enough of it. Uh, you can tell he was a bodybuilder at one point. Um, so, pretty much when you came into the gym here, you were maxing out around 400 pounds. I uh, thought you had a lot of potential to improve quickly, in which you have. Uh, now you're repping 400 pounds, pretty crazy. Um, and this isn't, hasn't been that long of a time period, you're really taking off. Uh, how is that transition from being a big bodybuilder, um, maybe doing a lot of the touch and go benching, a lot of the incline work you've done, and then really focusing on those big three lifts and specifically the competition bench that you'd see in a powerlifting meet? Uh, I feel that, you know, switching over from bodybuilding and working with higher reps, you know, and heavier weight, uh, to doing more explosive reps and with the pauses, you know, I feel that my past has helped me. So when I came in here hitting 400 um, on the flat bench, which I was I was surprised because I didn't typically do much flat bench. I was mostly focusing on incline chest, um, chest press for, you know, upper chest, you know, building up the pec majors for bodybuilding and not focusing too much on flat bench. Uh, with, with that conversion, I feel that you know, by all that extra additional incline bench work, it's, it's been able to guide me from the start with being able to bring up my, my flat bench. Well, you definitely built up the size. Like, to how much uh, importance do you put on um, some of that bodybuilding work just to build the size uh, to build your bench? Because I think that's a really key thing a lot of times, especially with myself, is we rely so much on technique that we really just have to uh, focus on just getting strong, um, just upper body, just like upper body strength. Sometimes I have to dial back my technique and actually just do some more bodybuilding type training where I'm focusing more on higher reps and just building muscle mass. Uh, how much do you think that's helped you when you're, you're bench pressing, just having that muscle mass? I think it helps a lot. I think switching back to hypertrophy and coming into more explosive techniques, you know, I think it can help anybody who's looking to really increase their strength and um, whether you're bodybuilding or whether you're a power lifter, you know, the mixing and matching the best of uh, both worlds, hypertrophy, explosiveness and, you know, uh, power, um, de deceleration and eccentric movements, uh, control. I believe it's all important and it's really all important in both aspects if you're a bodybuilder or a power lifter. And don't forget those big bench and titties really cut down the range of motion. So you get bigger titties here, you're going to cut that range of motion down. Don't forget that aspect. Now, um, what are some of the technique cues or advice that, that I may have shared with you that have really helped your competition bench, that really uh, made a difference for you uh, going over from being more of a flat style benching to more of a competition style benching where you have to use some of that leg drive, you know, create a, a shorter range of motion on the bench and take advantage of those leverages? Well, typically, you know, prior to powerlifting, I, I had always kept my chest up while benching to, you know, emphasize the, um, the pecs in, to pecs, to, to pecs to be used primarily and the triceps and shoulders to follow as secondary muscles but here in powerlifting creating an arch and creating a um, and be, creating less of a range of motion for you benefits you to be able to bring your lifts up so tucking the shoulders underneath which was one of the cues I've learned um, working with you uh, has has been key you know getting the shoulders under and being able to create as much of an arch as you can um, which I still struggle with the arch because I feel I'm really tight in the lower back but you know something it's always a work in progress so you may start off not really having much of an arch and there's always room to improve you may not be able to have as much shoulder mobility be able to tuck the shoulders underneath but again as you work that out as you create more shoulder mobility you're going to be able to then get more out of your bench press yeah, some of the um, the big uh, things that I see bodybuilders struggling with when they transition over to powerlifting um, is they really they don't train with the, with the proper leverages to get the most out of the lift because they're not necessarily trying to lift the most weight. They're more or less trying to target certain muscle groups. Um, so you see how they can really add a lot to their lifts by starting to play around with, with gaining those leverages advantages, you know, learning how to tuck the shoulders properly, cut some range of motion off, and then really get the legs into it. 
because powerlifting is more about incorporating your whole body to lift maximum weight, while with bodybuilding you're really targeting certain muscle groups just to bring up that, that certain muscle mass that you're targeting that day. Um, and another thing I see too is a lot of the bodybuilders, um, they'll bench out wide and stay rather high to the chest because that does primarily target the chest, which is um, usually the objective of bench when you're bodybuilding. Um, and really targeting your shoulders, but then trying to bring that wider grip in to the power zone here, you could tap a little more into the lats and just incorporate a little more muscle mass overall uh, to help you in the lift. So those are a couple things I see in that transition. Would you say that's true? Starting to bring maybe that grip in a little bit, get into the lats, Absolutely. start playing with the leverages. Sure, you know, um, when, when you start playing with the leverages and you're squeezing the lats and you're flexing your lats and you're keeping your elbows in tighter and you're now emphasizing what others would then use more as a close grip style for you know, bringing more up triceps your, your triceps. Um, we're now incorporating as much as we possibly can to get out of the lift. So we got our, our lats flexed and we got our chest down, we're bringing everything down and we're able to fire off the lats and use the triceps and use the Tight. chest in the entire motion. So we're really trying to get the most out of every muscle group possible in order to perform the best and heaviest lift possible. Uh, something I'm big on and something I use a lot with my clients is board work. Um, now, it's been pretty crazy seeing how you've excelled at the board work. I remember I think you were doing like 435 off some higher boards, something, something like 445, 435. But now I think you just did a 475 off a two board and you just keep going down and adding weight. Uh, it's pretty crazy how you've um, excelled so much with the board work. Uh, what is it about the boards that you like so much? Um, what's helping you with your bench there? Well. Let's see, we, we started really working with boards just a few months ago, and um, uh, what, what I really like about boards, and I was really giving this a lot of thought before we started working with the boards, that when you start adding boards as a second, a second day into your, um, uh, into your workouts, if you're kind of stuck at you know, a level where you feel like you've maxed out your strength, I feel it really helps you with the, uh, with the additional overload when you're using the board work and you start bringing yourself lower and lower consecutively each week closer to your chest um, because your body's getting used to that higher weight, you know, and maybe you're going down to typically eventually what you would call um, slightly below what a bodybuilder would be going to, you know, almost to the chest, but you know, just past 90 degrees with your, with your elbows, um, you're, uh, you're, you're getting, you're getting used to controlling that weight. You know, when you're working with heavy weight and you're bringing it all the way down to your chest, and you got a competition pause and you're waiting for the press call. You know, it's much different than just taking 400 pounds and bringing it down to your chest and pressing it straight up. You know or you know 315 and so on it's you know it's that little pause at the bottom you know can really throw things off because you're at a moment of almost rest if you're not keeping your tension in your lats and your and your triceps and you're not ready to explode straight off so working with the boards helps consistently allow you to control in an eccentric motion which will increase more muscle mass and strength um, the ability to get a more solid regular bench press when you go to your three rep max, one rep max, you know, when you want to just bring your bench up in general. Yeah, just uh, to clarify, if you're wondering how we use the boards, um, you usually have a first benching day of the week where we'll cycle through some, some lighter percentages. Uh, we do get heavy with them, but the, the cycles wave. Um, it's like a wave loading, um, I'd say linear periodization. and. The key with that is handling weights um, that you can use that aren't going to affect your technique. So this is more or less technique practice, all right? So we're handling moderate weight um, that we can work on our technique. It's a full range bench press, competition bench press, and that'll be our first bench day of the week. And then our second bench day, we'll go and we use the boards, just get that overload. Um, just work on, I'll tell you, with the board work, if you're not able to brace with heavy weights, the boards are going to expose that real quick. They're going to eat you alive, especially if you don't have that tricep strength um, because those boards are going to force you to learn how to brace and stay tight with that heavy weight. 
Um, and that's gonna be key. That's a great central nervous system overload, and it's gonna make that first benching day feel a lot easier. Would you say that that is the case, that that first benching day felt a lot lighter when we used the boards? Absolutely, yeah. Regular bench day programs are much easier now. Um, After getting that stimulus with the boards, that right? For sure, for sure. As long as you're getting enough rest in between your di those days, that's, that's, that's also key. You wanna make sure you got about three days rest or so between your board day. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the boards can be very taxing. I often tell um, some of my online clients if they start to feel a little beat up in the joints or they, they start to feel like that fatigue's catching up with them and they're not excelling on that other bench day, then don't be afraid to program in a deload. You know, just give it a chill for a week um, and then go back into your boards. Uh, no, no problem in taking the deload. Sometimes you need to do that just to give your joints a rest because it is taxing work. But if that recovery is on point, then keep going for it. Um, what, what would be some advice you'd give to someone who's struggling on their bench? Maybe they've been struggling for a few months now. Um, what, what do you think can get them over that hump? Um, if, if, you're, if you're struggling and you're at a plateau in your bench, you know, you just really might need a second day bench work, you know. And, and beginners can... Um, can get away with make great progress with a single day bench work in the beginning um, but even even after I would say a few months once you feel like your progress is slowing down or you feel stuck you know the chest needs to be stimulated more, more than once a week you know and covers quickly. you know definitely recovers quickly um, you know so adding some board work I definitely think is really a good technique just to keep it simple um, to really help bring up your bench um, you know without making things too complicated and wondering you know or mixing things up too much you can just set yourself up with a board program and I think that that's uh, definitely a good way to go about it you know you could definitely be able to get through those plateaus yeah I'm a, a big fan of higher frequency benching uh, you can definitely make progress benching one day a week but then eventually you know, that recovery in the, in the upper body is just very different than, than handling weight on your back like in a squat. You recover much quicker in a bench press, therefore you can handle more frequency with it. So definitely try that if you've been struggling. Um, that's something that's helped me and helped a lot of my athletes, just, just adding some frequency to your benching. Uh, even if it's not much, just, just some kind of type of bench press, maybe not even on its own day, maybe after a deadlift day, you just throw in a little extra bench, but that can really help get you over the hump. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you on the bench. Um, you know, we've had some great training sessions. You've been making some crazy progress. Uh, would you recommend Big Bench's bench coaching? Absolutely. Benny's great to work with. He definitely knows his stuff. He can help you get through any of your plateaus and, you know, and, and he'll help point out where your weaknesses are. You know, he's definitely um, a, a great a team member to have on your team you know you have to think about powerlifting and your network and the team that you have working with you that's what makes everything come together you know don't try to go at everything alone you know reach out you know to people and professionals that can help you because you know we all always need the help you know whether it be you know diet you know nutrition even pros have trainers have coaches you coaches know. have coaches and coaches have coaches and you know we all work together there's a great network you know benny's got a great network here so you know you can't go wrong big benches is the way to go thank you uh it's been a pleasure having you on and uh keep that bench going I'll see you guys next time. You can reach out to me, Coach Ben, at BigBenches.com to get on our training program. And I'll see you guys next time.